That was actually gifted to me by some random guy in Philadelphia when I used to be fat in and bathing. I'm a fiance now, so. It's for Galvin, he got a whole lot of talent. Say he grew up in the islands, know how to roll with his song. Genius for Dylan, he doesn't stop till I feel it. That's why I call him policeman, he come around and I run. It's for Eric, you love when I share it. Let's talk about Frankie, you love when he's banging, you know what I'm on. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up With Coco. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and follow me on Instagram at Birkin Coco. You know how to spell Birkin and you know how to spell Coco. Be sure to subscribe to my website, Coco Lifestyle Diaries, down in the description, and also follow me on my TikTok. As you can tell by the title of this video, I decided to do an updated bag collection. I do have a previous bag collection from about probably two and a half years ago. Um, I will leave it linked somewhere, but my bag collection has grown, I mean, to a different level, okay? Now, I don't have, obviously, the most bag collection out there, um, but I definitely think that from my last bag collection and how many bags I have kind of accumulated in the period of time that has gone by and the levels of like the bags that I have is absolutely crazy. Um, and I wanted to make it a little spicy. I decided that in this video, I will kind of obviously not give out the exact name, but I will kind of give you guys a little background on who bought me the bag, if I bought the bag for myself, um, you know, just to make it a little fun. I will say though that 80% of the bags that I have were purchased by someone that I was dating, a, a boyfriend, a sugar daddy, my now fiance, whatever. We're gonna start with Louis Vuitton. This was the first bag that I got. I got this when I was 18 or 19 years old. I've had this bag for over eight years now and it is actually still in really good condition because keep in mind I am 27 about to be 28 in a couple of months um, and I've had this since I was I would say 19 and it still looks this good I now use this for like overnight bag to go to the beach take a staycation somewhere and I do the same thing with this never full which I got around the same year when I was 19 years old. Now you can definitely see the wear and tear on this bag because I started taking this to the beach. Um, you can see the inside has been used and the handles, my dog at one point chewed on them um, somewhere, I can't. I can't see where she did it. Um, but moral of the story is for seven years, going on eight, having this bag, I feel like I have done such a good job. Aside from underneath here, you really could not see the wear and tear. To mention, these bags were purchased for me at 19 by my first ever sugar daddy. So. Next two bags are also from Louis Vuitton and one of them you guys know all about. It caused a lot of commotion and drama in my life at one point. Um, and another bag was actually gifted to me by my fiance on our third date. So these are the two bags. Now this bag is the bag that caused a lot of drama. Uh, some of you guys may know this. This is the Louis Vuitton petite mile bag in this pink crocodile um, leather with gold hardware and this beautiful strap. You can take off the straps and you can wear the bag without the strap if you want it to be a lot more dressier. Um, I absolutely actually love this bag. Um, it is very, very understated. Like you can just wear this and people, unless they know designer bags, literally have no idea what this bag is. When it was gifted to me, by the way, this bag was gifted to me by who I once called Holy Grail Daddy. If you go back some vlogs down the road, um, you will see when I got this bag and all of the 
drama that came after it. Um, but I love this bag. I literally um, can wear it, you know, anywhere and I don't feel threatened by anything because a lot of people really don't know much about this bag. I would call this more of a collector's item. Uh, the price point of this bag is definitely the most expensive bag that I have in my collection of bags. Um, if you know, you know, okay, it is crocodile and it is not cheap, so love it. Um, the next bag from Louis Vuitton is this cute black bag with the Louis monogram um, kind of all over the bag, but it is also very understated. You can't really tell, oh, it's a Louis Vuitton bag unless you, you know, get really close to it. Um, this was gifted to me by my now fiance on our third date because we met the month of my birthday. Um, we had gone on three, two dates prior to uh, when he gifted me this bag um, and a couple of other things. But this is a bag collection, so we're focused on the bag. Next, we're going to get into our Christian Dior bags and we're going to start with this bag so i actually purchased this bag myself i got this last summer when i was going to an all white gala and i needed a white bag because i don't have many like colors that i really need like silver gold white bags in my collection um but i did purchase this cute christian dior bag now i see why people don't do white bags because this bag is just not good for a girl like me who is dark skin and i wear makeup you know um but if you don't wear it often and you just wear this when you need to wear a white bag it's not a problem um it comes with this gold strap um and it has like two pockets well three pockets one for coins one for you to put your cards and then if you have like lip gloss and stuff so it doesn't fit much but you know it works if you need to go to an all-white party another thing i did with the bag when i wore it was make the straps smaller for a more you know dressed up look in my personal opinion next Christian Dior bag is my Christian Dior saddle bag in brown leather and gold hardware. Now I love this bag. I think it is so cute for a casual chic look. Like I love to wear this with jeans, a t-shirt, um, my Oran brown sandals and like this to just like run errands and just kind of hang out. Um, I definitely don't tend to wear this on a more dressy or look. I know that some people do that, but I just can't do it. Also, I got the medium size because I just felt like it fit a little bit more than the smaller size. And let me tell you, it barely fits much. Okay, you can fit your phone, your keys some lip gloss, but this is not the bag that you want to carry on an everyday basis if you are that girl that walks around with like a fat, thick wallet with, you know, a brush and all of that stuff. But if you're just like, you know, running errands or doing something during the day, I definitely think it is absolutely a beautiful bag. It does come with a strap for crossbody, but if you know, you know, I just don't do crossbody like that but in case you're interested it does come with it and i absolutely love this bag and it is absolutely practical like the leather for everyday use now for the next two christian dior bags they are literally the same bag in different sizes and different color this is the christian dior lady dior bag in the size medium um, it is a lovely bag and it is absolutely super cute, super chic. Um, only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it doesn't have a zipper. Now the medium size can actually fit a lot in here. It is in this matte gray color, even the hardware is also in the matte 
gray color. Now for the second Lady Dior bag. This bag was purchased in Morocco for my birthday last year. I absolutely love this color and I love the size of this bag. Now I don't wear a lot of red in my collection. I definitely feel like red is a pop of color so it's not something like I wouldn't wear like a red dress and match it with a red bag but I could do like a black dress with red shoes and like you know match it with this red bag and I just think this is absolutely beautiful now this is not like a red red I think this is more like a wine red um, on the lighter side of the, of, of the wine but like you can kind of get that wine um, color from the color of the bag if you see it in person it comes with gold hardware which i absolutely love i love how small the chain is like i said i don't usually wear my bags like this or crossbody i just kind of use it as a style to kind of hold my bag like this and just have the chains dangle but absolutely love this bag this bag was actually gifted to me by a uh, tattoo daddy in Morocco last year. If you guys know who Tattoo Daddy is, then you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this was my birthday gift last year from Tattoo Daddy. For the last Christian Dior bag, this is actually fairly new in my collection. I got this bag, I believe, a month and a half ago. It was specifically for my South of France trip this summer. By the way, I did vlog those, so if you've not seen those videos, make sure you go and check them out. And, excuse me, but I have to look at the name. So this is the Christian Dior Weaker Oblique Lady D Joy bag. Um, it is absolutely stunning. It's a perfect summer bag. This is in the medium size. Now, for some reason, my sales associate had told me that this was the only size they had, um, but they actually do have this in a mini as well. Um, but this is the medium size, and I actually love the medium size because I could fit quite a few things in here while I was in the south of France, and also with my camera. Um, once I took the tripod off of the camera, I can fit both my camera and the tripod in here. Um, so it worked perfect for the summer. It has the little Christian Dior there. You can do this with the bag. Tuck it in if you will. It does come with two straps as well. This is what I have on the bag because this is the strap that I gravitate towards more, but it does come with a cross body strap in black as well, which like I said, is just not my thing. So I just kind of put this on the bag and left it that way. And you can see it's still so new that I still have plastic on it. Um, but yeah, this is the bag. And like I said, this is actually one of the new ones in my collection. And this bag was bought by my now fiance for my trip to the south of France. And I love it. Next, we are going to get into my Chanel bag collection. The first bag that we are going to start with is actually a very special bag because this was my first ever Chanel bag and it was gifted to me by my first ever 50 something year old boyfriend. Okay, like the first guy that I actually did exclusively. He was my sugar daddy, but he was my boyfriend. Okay, um, he bought me this on my 22nd birthday, I believe. Um, now this is a Chanel boy bag. This was a very limited edition at the time. I absolutely love this bag. This is the only boy bag, Chanel bag that I have. Um, so technically I've had this bag for over five years now and it's, you know, a little bit of discoloration on the bag back here. Um, but the hardware is still good. Obviously, you can tell how, you know, dark the um, strap is that I've had this bag for, you know, some years. But I absolutely love this bag and it's very special to me because, like I said, it is my first ever Chanel bag and it is the only boy bag that I have in my collection. And I absolutely love it. I don't take it out as much anymore but definitely will be taking it out more 
for me. Um, just my opinion, I feel like the boy bags are not really dressy. They're more dressed down, so this is more of like a casual, everyday run errands bag for me um, versus the classic. Speaking of classics, I have two classic Chanel bags to share with you guys. We're going to start with the bigger bag. This is the classic Chanel in lambskin leather in the size jumbo. Now, this size is super big. Um, I, for some reason, thought I would absolutely love the size because I was thinking in my head, I need something that I can put, you know, stuff in. It's going to be practical. This bag, in my opinion, is so heavy. Now, this is in gold hardware. And I love that because I feel like I gravitate towards gold for my jewelry pieces more than silver. So I did love the fact that it was gold hardware. And um, this bag was actually purchased by Birkin Daddy. And yeah, I love the bag. It's cute. It's big. Um, it is just really heavy. So I feel I use this more for like travel than anything compared to the Samal Classic. But this bag was gifted to me by my fiance last year, Christmas. Um, this is the classic Chanel and Caviar leather, silver hardware. Um, but this was just a lot more practical um, when it came to like using it on an everyday basis. We all know the difference between caviar leather and lambskin leather. Caviar is more everyday. Lambskin, it's easy to see the scratch marks on them. Um, and it's just not something you wanna walk around with every day. If you are into very big, heavier bags, um, this size is for you. The leather on this is more practical than the leather on this, but I do love the gold and black. And I just wanted one in silver, so I know someone's going to be like, oh my god, isn't that the same bag? Yeah, same bag, different size, different leathers, and different hardware. But both very cute. And it's nice to have in your collection. I do definitely think that I am going to be getting other colors in this size. Next bag in my Chanel collection of bags is this Chanel 19 wallet on chain bag. This bag was actually gifted to me by some random guy in Philadelphia when I used to be fat and bopping. I'm a fiance now, so <laughs> we're gonna just say he was a sugar daddy. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, so this bag was gifted to me by some random guy in Philadelphia, okay? Um, but this is, like I said, the Chanel 19 in gold it's a wallet on a chain that they call it but it fits quite a lot it can fit my phone it has little pockets here for my cards ids um you know a little pocket here so it has three pockets it has this over here but clearly you're not fitting anything in there um but i love this color this is honestly the only gold like truly gold bag I have in my collection. I also love the fact that the straps are two-toned. It's silver here and then gold here. Perfect for a girl like me who mix matches her hardwares. Um, but this is such a cute dressy bag when you're going to the club or going out to dinner and you're wearing gold shoes. Um, I've had it for a couple of years now and I actually love, love, the back so here she is another Chanel bag now this Chanel bag is really cute I got it specifically for a trip to Italy last year um, and because I had this green outfit if you have not watched that Italy vlog go watch it and you will see me wear this um, I actually have a picture also on my Instagram where I wore the green dress and this bag. It is literally just a mini micro Chanel bag and it has a mirror here, which I actually never took the plastic off of the mirror. <laughs> um, but it is just the cutest bag. Um, if you literally just wanna take a lip gloss and a card and your ID, you could also fit maybe like one card key in here. Uh, but literally this is just 
an accessory to your outfit it's not really a purse um so when i feel like not carrying anything if i'm going on a date with bae or something like that this is like the perfect bag and like i said it's just a pop of color i don't have like green in my wardrobe like that so this is just like when i want to just you know kind of add a little bit of color to my outfit um but yeah it's just the cutest little bag and i actually did buy this myself cutest little bag i absolutely love her <laughs> last but not least on my chanel collection of bags and this is fairly new in my collection i got this this summer two weeks ago three weeks ago in the south of france in nice when i was walking around and i came across the chanel store this is a bag that i've been wanting for a while uh i just could not find it anywhere not in boston and i just didn't want to buy a used one for a tote bag you know what i mean um so when i was in nice i was walking around i walked by the chanel store and i was like you know what let me just go in and see um and they actually had the bag and it was like the perfect size the perfect color because I wanted it for everyday running errands while I'm at home. A nice cute bag to take to the gym because I was taking my never full Louis Vuitton bag and I've kind of outgrown wearing that on like an everyday basis like I really don't want to but I wanted something that I could also fit a lot in so I bring my camera, workout shoes, workout socks, change because sometimes I can shower at the Equinox gym that I go to inside it comes with this little pouch it fits perfectly in here um, and then i also have the sunglasses which i actually did purchase also in the south of france the same time i got the chanel tote bag um and i mean this is not a sunglass haul but and i just thought they were so cute with the c for like every day to match with my bag like okay you 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 get the vision <laughs> you get the vision right this is the, the new girl in the collection so nothing too fancy but it's still a chanel tote bag and this is perfect for traveling as well for the girlies that love to throw a purse in another purse and put a purse in a, another purse for like the girls that have birkins and stuff which we are going to get into right now so to get into my Birkin bag collection, we're gonna start with the two bags that everyone hated me for, which is my Birkin 30 in um, Swift Leather in the color orange. And this is my Birkin 30 in the color blue. I don't know the exact color, but I'm gonna call it blue um, with silver hardware. Um, and this is in Togo leather. Now, the reason why I said everyone hated me for these bags were because they were pre-loved purchase from a fashion file. Uh, this was before I had a, you know, good rapport with my sales associate here in Boston. Um, and I wanted a couple of these bags. And at the time I hadn't had any purchase history. Um, so I found a reputable, website fashion file even though some people believe that it is not real i personally think they're reputable because i have seen celebrities and everyone you can name actually shop from that site i do feel that i am going to be getting rid of these two bags soon now that i do have a rapport with my sales associate not only here in boston but also in paris where i was um, offered my newer bags um so yeah we'll see I'm, I'm still thinking about it because i still do use these to travel um i will put like other bags in them or you know put stuff that i need to go through the airport with um but i definitely do love these bags i definitely think togo leather is a lot more practical than swift um i do love the color of this more though i feel orange is something that i kind of gravitate towards more in my wardrobe and when I'm getting dressed. But these are my two Birkin 30s, Swift leather, Togo leather, um, gold hardware, no, sorry, silver hardware with both. Um, and these were pre-loved, but 
I love them. So we'll see. I'm thinking about it. I've been thinking about selling them since I got offered my first one, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Thinking about it. Both of these were purchased by Birkin Daddy. Um, if you know, you know. That's why he's called Birkin Daddy because he got me my first Birkins. <laughs> Next on the Birkin collection, some of you guys may know all about this bag, but this was my first brand new Birkin that was offered to me in Paris on Valentine's Day, um, last Valentine's. Um, this is the Birkin 25. The color is Mois Pal. I believe I'm saying it correct. Um, this is in Epson leather. I absolutely love, love, love this bag. I love the size. I love the fact that it is a silver hardware. It goes perfectly with this bag. Um, now, the color is definitely not a practical everyday color, um, but I absolutely love the color and I love the fact that I can actually kind of hold on to this more, not wear it every day. Um, because if I had a black one, I would be wearing my black Birkin every day, literally every day. Um, so I do love the fact that I can kind of like preserve this because I know the color, literally anything can rub off on it. Um, I was advised not to wear jeans or anything that, you know, any color that would come off. Um, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Sticking with my Hermes collection, we are moving into my Hermes Kelly bags and we are gonna start with these two. First bag that we are going to start with is this Kelly 28 box leather with gold hardware. Box leather, as you guys know, is actually one of the first leather Hermes started making their bags with. Um, a lot of people have this in their collection if they're, you know, like vintage box leather bags. Um, I do believe they still make box leather um, in the mini Kelly's. I'm not sure. I Nothing I'm saying is fact. It's just based on stuff that I think I've heard. Um, but this is the Kelly 28 in box leather, cellier, and gold hardware. This was actually pre-loved and it was bought by Birkin Daddy around the same time he got me my first two Birkins. Um, I actually love this bag and I definitely will be holding on to it. I love to wear this like if I'm, you know, on like my business outfit look like, you know, to make it look like I just came from, you know, business. This is the bag that I will wear, you know, um, just to give like a business casual I just came from a meeting kind of like vibe. <laughs> Next on the collection is this brown Hermes Kelly bag. I believe this is also size 28. I might be confusing the sizes, but this is in Togo leather. Um, absolutely more practical than the box leather or swift leather. Um, Togo leather for my girls that like to, you know, are very active is the best leather for you. Um, if you are, you know, trying to get Hermes bags, um, this is so practical. Like I can wear this anytime, anywhere, any day. Um, and I'm not worried about like scratches and stuff like that because these are meant to actually, you know, take on that much other than like the box leather and the swift leather. Um, this bag was purchased by Holy Grail Daddy um, and it was gifted to me by him as well. Also around the time where he gifted me the 30K Louis Vuitton Crocodile Petite Mile bag. Um, he also gifted me this bag. This was my first brand new Hermes Kelly bag. Thank you Holy Grail Daddy. <laughs> Sticking with the Hermes Kelly bags, we are moving into one of also newer bags in my collection. Now I have had this for probably five months now, but this bag, like my uh, Petite Mile Louis Vuitton bag, is an exotic bag and it is also one of the most expensive bags that I have in my collection of bags. This is a Kelly 25 and this is in ostrich leather and I will call this color gold. Like I said, I don't know the exact name, 
but silver hardware. Now I would love to be offered a bag with gold hardware. Um, so fingers crossed, see my birthday's coming up. Um, but yeah, so newer bag in my collection. This was actually offered to me here in Boston by my sales associate, really nice woman. My first offer and she offered me an exotic um, ostrich leather um, and literally the perfect size. This is an absolutely beautiful bag. Um, granted, I do have the Brown Kelly 28, but I, I just had to have it, okay? The colors are a little different, though they do look similar. They are a little different, and I just absolutely love this bag. It obviously comes with a strap. All Kellys come with a crossbody strap, um, but I just do not tend to do that with my bags, not even with the Kellys. Um, I wear them, you know, this way, but it does come with, a matching crossbody strap and keys and locks. So um, there's a vlog somewhere where I unboxed this for you guys. Um, but yeah, so this is, like I said, another bag in my collection that is worth, you know, quite a lot. Um, and I absolutely love her. She is cute and I love the size of it more importantly than anything is the size um, the color honestly I would have taken any color she had to offer <laughs> last but not least on my Hermes bag collection is this bag that I recently actually just got offered in Paris as a lot of you guys know I went on a pretty much, I guess, a European tour this summer. I was gone for two weeks. I went to South of France, then I went to Milan, then Lake Como, then back to France where I stopped in Paris. Um, and I decided to do some shopping in Paris as well. Because I got offered my pink uh, Birkin 25 the last time I was there, I was like, oh, let me give this a try again. Um, and this time, this is what I got offered. Now, I don't know the exact name to it, but it is very similar to a Constance and like same size i would say it fits probably the same amount of stuff and it's very similar but it is different but i actually absolutely love this bag it is very understated um a lot of people will not know that this is an hermes bag and i kind of love that for myself um so i can actually wear this like to certain you know places or when i'm traveling and not feel very concerned like how I was when I was walking around with my my ostrich Kelly when I was in Paris um, with this I feel like I'll be a little bit less you know nervous about it now it does only come with this sort of like cross body strap you can definitely adjust it though almost like a belt um, but I actually love the bag um, I would have preferred a Constance but a bag from Hermes is a bag from Hermes. I also do have this matching wallet that comes with a belt. Um, when I purchased it, I purchased it with my uh, Ostrich Kelly 25 at the same time. And I got this cute wallet on a belt. Um, and it's so funny that it matches. This is the last item that I got from my European trip. I did get some shoes and stuff as well from the Hermes store. but. I'm just focusing on the bags on this video. Um, so this is the bag that I got in Paris this summer. That is pretty much it for my bag collection. I do have some other bags that I have, but I'm not gonna go into them, but like this Givenchy bag, if you remember, there was a while where everyone had one of these on Instagram. It was popping and I really wanted one. I actually do love this bag and I do think it's a very business, um, you know, for a businesswoman, if you like to, you know, go to meetings and stuff like that, I actually think it's a stunning bag for that. Another bag that I have is this YSL bag. You know, not anything exciting. I have this other YSL bag, nothing exciting, and then this Bottega bag. So, yeah.
that is it for my updated bag collection and everyone who purchased me a bag um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe like comment tell me which bag of all the bags that i showed you guys is your favorite um, make sure you follow me on instagram birkin coco you know how to spell birkin and you know how to spell coco make sure you're subscribing to my website coco lifestyle diaries if you would like to find out how i got these guys to buy me these bags definitely subscribe to my website also make sure that you follow me on tiktok and all other platforms i love you guys and i will see you guys on my next video bye it's for eric you love when i share it let's talk about frankie i love when he's banging you know what i'm on it's for gerald i'm at